Hi, and welcome to Rachel Found It at Etsy.com. What do we have here today, Rachel? Well, we have a picture of Wyatt Earp and his family and his friend Doc Holliday. Doc Holliday's in this. Okay, cool. I have spoke to you about this picture just a few minutes earlier. And um, I'm going to zoom in here. You can see Wyatt here as on the right. And if you look under his hat, it looks like his, uh, his badge is there. <laughs> Something he might have done just to keep it out of the picture, I'm not sure. But I can definitely see the points on it. And to the left here is Doc Holliday. Now these were the two tallest men in the picture. And if you notice, that is correct. And something about Holiday, you notice he was born with a cleft, was he not? Yes. And you can clearly see it right there. So, this is a fantastic image, unbelievable picture. It contains uh, how many people, Rachel? 21. 21 members. Are they all members of the Herb family? Mm -hmm. Most of them. Most of them, okay. So I, I, I see you have the outsiders would be Doc himself. Yes. His his uh his gal, Kate Haroni. Yes. Who's standing right next to him. Mm -hmm. Then you have Manny Blaylock. Yes. Who is with um Wyatt, but through marriage. Right. Okay. So those are the only outsiders here. Um let's let's start with the uh the back row to the left. Who do we have here? We have Louisa Houston Earp. Okay, and she was the wife of Morgan? Correct. There's Morgan. So he's standing relatively close to his wife, as he should. And then we have Virginia Ann Earp, the mother yes. of the five brothers. So where on God's green earth are you going to find a 1879 image containing five brothers and one sister... And the sister has to be the youngest. Right. And three generations of herbs together here. We have the parents, we have their children, and then we have, we also have uh, the sisters of Virginia Ann. Is that not correct? Yes. All right. So early on, we called this picture Herb Family and Friends. Uh, we did go to the location. We did find what we believe is the exact tree they stood behind. And I'll explain that in a moment. Uh, Virgil owned a mill in Thumb Butte, Prescott, Arizona. And this was taken, we believe, Thanksgiving Day of 1879. And we went to the site, and believe it or not, we have pictures of this exact tree behind them, which is just a few feet over the heads of James and Bessie. And we see this branch that lingers off to the right and then splits into three. We find that about 30 feet higher off the ground. An amazing American elm. They live to be upwards of 200 to 250 years of age. That means it's very possible that the spot we found is correct. Would you agree, Rachel? Yes. All right, that's good to hear. Um, so who authenticated this, or did you have it authenticated? Yes, it was authenticated by Lois Gibson. Lois Gibson, is she anybody of recognition? She was a world book, is a world book Guinness World Record. Holder, okay. So she's in the Guinness Book of World Records, uh, records for um, identification, yes. correct? I believe, what I read on her, she solved over 1,200 cases. Yes. And she's a forensic artist. And she's worked 40 years with the uh, Houston Police Department? Yes, she did. And she just recently retired, correct? Correct. Oh, this, this is good stuff. I mean, people, we, we took the uh, time to go and get a, a third neutral party decision. Lois spent six months on this picture. And I got to tell you, she came back and said, Mark, there's no way you can have 21 people with 12 of them accounted for being in Prescott during the time. Correct? Correct. And have them so closely pinned down, like if, if the two had a daughter, there's the daughter. If they had a son, there's the son. There's no mistaking how this is, This you can't reproduce this, it's not possible. So, um, again, we're going to go back to where we left off with uh, Virginia Ann Cooksey, and then we go over to Kate Haroni, which is Doc's girl, mm -hmm. Maddie Blaylock, yes. Maddie's sister. Sarah. Yes. 
She took care of her. Yes. And then we have Wyatt, followed by his youngest uh, brother, Warren. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he's not even looking at the camera. He's got his own. He's got his own mind somewhere. <laughs> right. And then we have Nicholas Porter. He's sixty-seven years of age in this picture. And then we have Bessie Earp. Now Bessie is married to James, but Bessie had a daughter with a previous marriage, and that would be who? That would be Harriet. Harriet, correct. And as I zoom out here, I can see that Harriet is seated right in front of her mom, and James is next to Bessie, and next to James is Elvira Earp, who happens to be standing with her man, Sheriff Yes. Virgil Earp, and that is totally him. There's a close-up. He's the lawman here, people, and he would soon head off to Tucson, uh, uh, Tombstone, excuse me, Tombstone, and um, Wyatt would follow, but Doc Holliday preferred to stay in Prescott. Is that not true? Yes. For a little while, anyway. But eventually, as you know, with about a little under two years from now, the OK Corral shootout took place, and soon afterwards, Morgan would be the next to die. Sad but true. Now, what's really interesting about this picture is that, well... If I step back here to see Verzo and Elvira, they had a daughter. Well, not together. Verzo was married prior to meeting Elvira. But he had to serve in the, in the Civil War. And the woman he was with heard he had died. And so Verzo never knew he had a daughter. Uh, she was born after he went off to war. So years later, Nellie Jane, who married a, a man named Bond, there she is, and they caught up, and they've been close ever since, but it's not the biological daughter of Elvira, correct? Correct. All right, so now we go over back to the front row left. We have two sisters, full-blooded and half-blooded, Right. and they are sisters to who? Virginia Ann Cooksey. Virginia Ann. So the mother of the Earp brothers has her two sisters here. One is half-blooded Dooley Bell mm -hmm. Park, and full-blooded Margaret Tilford. Right. And they had two daughters. Right here. And they brought them with them. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. The timeline fits. Everything fits like a glove. There's not one thing out of order here, people. Uh, it's exciting to be able to have the honor to, to introduce you to this. It's not in magazines. It's, it hasn't really been talked about. It deserves its place in the American public's eye, I believe. And um, we are here. We own the rights to this picture. There's Adelia up in front. And what's, what's nice about this is we're offering this picture in a blow-up format, as you see here. It's about 20 by 25 inches. Yes. Okay, and you can have it done in sepia or black and white. We... Uh, we make them to order, so it takes about two to three weeks. But if you wanted the names next to each person, we will put them there. If you want the title, it will be professionally done. And if you don't want any of that, it can be removed upon your request. And we can vary the size somewhat. Uh, check it out at Rachel Found It. Hold on. At um, Etsy.com. Mm -hmm. Rachel, we'd like to see some more of what Lois did on this picture. Because I know that people are going are gonna to be thinking, this can't be real, it's not true, but it really, this is the real deal. Not like a lot of the junk you see on eBay today. So here's a newfound image of Wyatt Earp. And what Lois did was she, in percentages, started to overlap with a known. And this is the known on the far right. Wyatt at age 21. So again, from right... You see him age progress to where he's age 31. And the next one, please. She did it again with um, the known Dodge City picture. This is the Wyatt Earp picture at age 33 that's known. And she started to overlap. 
clearly there's only two years age difference here. You can see it. It's the same man. Use your own eyes and judge for yourselves. This all at a time when the population of the United States was over 90% less people to choose from. My God, I mean, there was not that many doppelgangers out there. Go ahead and show us the next picture. And if it, it gets better than that. She did everybody. She took the time to go ahead and compare Doc Holliday, for example. Now, I would be upset if, if that's what I had to look at for the last 150 years. Would you agree, Rachel? Yes. I mean, this is fuzzy. It's computer enhanced. It's grainy. It's just, that's all we had. There's only about two or three pictures that are actual Doc Holiday pictures out there. And the one where he's a dentist, he's roughly 17 or 18 years old when he graduated. Uh, it, that's probably one of the better pictures that we have. But as she overlapped him, this is what the real Doc Holiday looked like. He's 30 years of age here. I mean, this is it. He had a hard life. He drank a lot. He fought a lot. He was on the road a lot. You can see he's weathered. But he has that cleft palate as well. And uh, it's just an amazing discovery. That picture of the 21 really should be the holy grail of the Earps. Right. I think it should set the standard for what they really look like. Nothing here is, is, is computer enhanced as far as trying to make a face look like something. This is what the picture actually is. You can see the whites in their eyes. Next one, Rachel. We appreciate your openness to considering what we're showing you here. So this is uh, Maddie. This is Wyatt's wife in our 21 picture. And Lois again overlapped to the known. And she did an inset of the known. As you can see, it's the same woman, the rounded chin, the full lips, even the eyes. You know, everybody has different eyes. The corners, some are up, some are down, some are flipped one up, one down. It doesn't really matter, but this is the same deadpan, corner to corner. Her eyes are a perfect match. Her nose, everything about her matches the known. Go ahead, Rachel. What's next? A real, a real treat here, I think. And this is a picture of the same people. Yes. So you have Virginia and you have Nicholas Porter Earp once again. Yes. Are these 12 in the same, same in the 21? Yes, they are. So we're missing about roughly yeah. nine people. Yes. But these 12 were in the 21. Yes. And I think what's interesting is the show that this took place, are you ready for this? Five or six years earlier. Even earlier than what was known. Rachel explained. When did Wyatt believe to, be, to have met Doc Holliday? They say that they met together in 1877. 1877. Yes. So this is, from what I understand, and uh, I think people know this as well, that historians were really baffled that Doc Holliday would tell this perfect stranger, Wyatt Earp, the whereabouts of Dirty Dave Rudabaugh. Yeah. yeah. That's who he was looking for at the Beehive Saloon. And uh, this explains it, people. Mm -hmm. It's not some chance fluke. Doc Holliday and Wyatt Earp had been friends years prior to that happening. Yes. I can almost see him telling his partner to wait outside <laughs> well, he goes in there and comes and comes back with all this information, and they're like, "Holy shit! How did you get all that information from this guy?" And uh, it's because they knew each other. Yeah. And it's it's just an amazing uh, uh, re redefinition of when they met, because it also includes Kate. Kate Haroni was with Doc Holliday even that early, and this picture is phenomenal. It really is. Okay, because they're standing in the exact these four, the four main players. Kate, Doc, Maddie, and Wyatt, they're all standing in the same exact position five years later yeah. in Prescott. We don't know where this picture was taken, do we? No. 
But we do know these people are the same. Lois has authenticated this picture as well. And she really had a good time with this one uh, because it was so easy to do. So again, we have Nicholas Porter and his wife, Virginia, and she has her two half-sisters once again. Oh, I'm sorry, one half-sister, which is Dooley on the, on the left, and her full-blooded sister, Margaret Maria Tilford, on the right. And you can see their faces. Those are sisters, people. There's no doubt about it. So in the back row, we start off with, quickly, we have Warren, followed by Kate, who's standing next to her man, Doc Holliday. You have Maddie Blaylock standing next to her man, Wyatt Earp, and he's about 27 there, I believe. And then you have Adelia, the youngest and only daughter living at this time, and Virgil. <laughs> you can see that's a young Virgil. Mm -hmm. And we have Morgan on the far side. What a... Beautiful, and this is an 11 by 14 inch silver halide image. We blew it up here. It's even sharper than this blow up. And as you can see, this is just a phenomenal holy grail of the herbs, in my opinion, and I think yours too, Rachel. Yes. Uh, it's, it's, I'm very proud to be able to show this today. And what do we have next? Moving along here, we're amateurs at, the, at this... Uh, video taping and we're trying to get full screen for the first time here so bear with us we appreciate your patience okay so this is a known picture of nicholas porter erp and virginia erp and they are the parents of of uh, wyatt and his brothers so what lois did well she started with nicholas and she just overlapped the known in percentages up to 100 percent known on the left and you can see the age progression of Nicholas. And then she did the same thing with Virginia Ann. And as I scan across, you can see her growing older. I mean, come on. It, it, she still parts her hair the same way. She's got the same wrinkled face, same nose, same deadpan, flat smile. It's totally her. Wonderful lady, I'm sure. Uh, she has to be a saint to put up with them. They're on both sides of the law, mm -hmm. as we all know. Yeah. <laughs> and that's just what, what history you know, dictates, and that's what we have to go with. And uh, what would you have to show us next? Okay, here's another blow-up. And this time she focused in on Adelia. And she A's progressed her to a known. And once again... It is a beautiful rendition of Adelia from young to old, left to right. There is the known picture of her. She inserted it into the photograph so you can see. We're not trying to hide anything here or enhance something here. This is the photo in all of its clarity. And you can see the threads and the buttons on their clothes. It's just a fantastic picture. It's undeniable, and these 12 match the 21, which also match the known. Mm -hmm. Common sense, people. Common sense. Okay, Rachel, we're going to move along to something extra special, if you have the patience to bear with us. And it is a book, and it contains... The herbs as well, and we just put this together. It's it's a it's historical headstones. This is volume one. It comes in two volumes. This contains about a hundred different outlaws. Yes. From a lost source mm -hmm. that was discovered in January of 2017, and has taken almost three and a half years to put together. That's right. When I came along and found this collection, I knew I was staring at Jesse James and post postmortem, and then I found Robert Ford a week later. And I started saying to myself, who is this lady selling these pictures? And, and what did I miss out on? And apparently for 18 months prior to my, my arrival, they were sold off as unknowns to people who just liked the picture and would pay five or 10 bucks for them. Right. So I had to contact them all. I have receipts for everything and, and conversations. And I amassed a 450 plus picture of outlaws that were once all in a single collection. Mm -hmm. And the collection is all early 19th century, because I think it ends with uh, Bonnie and Clyde, yes. 
There's no Al Capone. It ends around 1934, and I think it's gone missing that long. Mm-hmm. So you're you're getting the scoop that's going to really change your outlook on a lot of people. We got everything from Mysterious Dave Mather to John King Fisher, The Wild Bunch. Yes. All the ladies. Yes. Yeah, you like that one, I know. <laughs> and we have, uh, I mean, we just have people that you, you don't normally talk about. Right. But they're there. And a whole slew on Jesse and Frank James and Robert Ford is killer. Mm-hmm. Ford, like you've never seen him before. I mean, you think you know Robert Ford? You don't. He, I don't believe he was any coward. That's for sure. Once you get to see what we have here, you'll realize he was actually a, a non... He was actually a, a good man who was not a career criminal. No. So what do we have here up front? Let me see if I can just zoom in a little bit here. This is an early picture of Doc Holliday from, it's labeled 1883. Mm-hmm. Okay. Next. This shows the Earps had gotten together a few years after the OK Corral, which... I don't think historians even realize that. We have this pattern around 1886, about a year before uh, Doc Holliday dies. Yeah. And you'll see in this picture, it's it's got Kate in the back. That would be with Doc. And then it's got, to the left, it's it's got um, his girl, Maddie Blaylock. And to the far right would be Blaylock's sister, Sarah, once again. Inseparable. Another candid tin, tin type of Wyatt Earp. In around 1877. And then here we have, I'm getting the shadows. Let me stand back a little bit. Okay, here we have Morgan Earp and his wife, Louisa Houston. Mm -hmm. Happy, alive, probably taken in Tombstone, I can't say for sure. And then the tragedy strikes. Morgan gets shot in a pool hall, correct? Correct. In the back, I believe. Yes. He dies in, in, in the arms of Wyatt. And over here we have... Louisa in mourning. Yes, Louisa's in mourning. It's, it's just a terrible picture. I, I, I have to study for a minute here. It's, I can't get over the fact that this happened the way it happened. Mm-hmm. And that was it. Cut down at a young age. Right. Next picture, please. There's a, a candid picture of Celia Blaylock, Wyatt's love interest. Looks just like her. Mm-hmm. This is an older, uh, a later version around 1905 of Kate Heroni. Yeah. Uh, they call her Big Nose Kate. Uh, they didn't say it to her face back then. I don't even think the term even existed. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, and I also think that Big Nose was a nickname because she had her nose in everybody's business. Yeah. Not that she had a large nose. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny what you hear these days. Right. Here's a, a double picture of a uh, holiday together with Wyatt. Mm-hmm. And this is where he's sickly and gaunt. So this is near his death, people. And there's a picture recently uh, posted of him sitting in a wheelchair. And he's just kind of staring out. In the space, and this looks very much like that picture. Mm-hmm. And also, that was also newly uh, authenticated only a few years ago. Next, please. What do we have here? We have Nicholas Porter, mm-hmm. Earp, and Virginia Cooksey once again. Mm-hmm. He's probably in his early 60s. Right. And over here, progression. Whoever put this collection together, it wasn't me. I mean, originally, they took the time. To show progression in the ages and bring on children and children of uh, grandchildren. They, mm-hmm. they really wanted you to know these people as, and, and not only as the outlaws that they were, but the ones, the loved ones that surrounded them. Right. So you get an in-depth look at them. Keep going, please. Okay, here's a, a candid shot of, well, it's actually uh, an earlier picture. Of Ambrose Peck Alexander mm-hmm. and his wife Elizabeth Alexander, and over here we have the Earp brothers. Again, this is around 1877. Check this one out. You have Wyatt seated bottom left. Behind him is Virgil, who rests his hand on his shoulder. 
and you have Morgan over to the far right front, and you have Warren in the back, the youngest. And we have other pictures that will show that these are 100% correct. Here's another picture, and this book is just, I'm not even showing you all of them, there's just so many, of Nicholas Porter and Virginia Earp. And Rachel, what do we have here? What is, tell me the significance of this. This book was owned by Josephine Earp. Josephine Marcus Earp. No, this is, the, I, no, that's not what you told me earlier. What is this exactly? Oh, this is Harry, Henrietta's book. Henrietta's book. Who, which contains Josephine Marcus. Yes. That's what you're... Okay, we talked about this earlier. Yes. And um, I can see the confusion. There's so many people in this book. But this book belonged to Henrietta. Mm -hmm. Or, right. I'm sorry, Marcus. Henrietta and Marcus had parents. And they're right here. And this is the first time you're going to see them. As there are no known pictures, I believe, of these two. Mm-hmm. Sophia Marcus and her husband Hyman and little sister Henrietta. Now, you're not going to see Josephine in this picture. Why? Because she ran away. She ran away at around 15. Yes. So she's not here. So you actually have a family album mm -hmm. of the Marcuses. Yes. And they lived in Oakland? Yes. California, there you go. Take, take a turn. Please, let's see what else we have. It's just getting interesting. Okay, so once again, there's Henrietta. Mm -hmm. And they had a brother. Yes, Nathan. Nathan. Let's see if I can get a close-up there. And he's in the book. And there's Henrietta. Mm -hmm. Once again, now she's older. She's in her 20s. And she marries a man named Emil Lenhart. Yes. And tell me about Emil. What, what did he do for a living? He was a candy shop owner. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then that would be where? San Francisco? Yes. That's, that's, that's what I was reading up on earlier. And he was well-liked, was he not? Yes, he was. Flip the page. This is starting to get... And you would imagine that just about everybody would have a family album. Right. So why wouldn't this exist? That should right. be the question. So here is now they have an addition to the family. Little Edna. So tell me about Edna. Edna grows up to be a popular artist. Really? Yes. Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> all right. So this, so this is a family living in San Francisco. Right. And they have a candy shop, and they have their firstborn, Edna. And there's Uncle Nathan, mm -hmm. Josephine Marcus's brother, holding little Edna. Uh -huh. How cool is this? Come on. And then over here, you have Sophie, her mother, Sophia Lewis Marcus. And there she is again in old age. So this book was kept around for many years. So I guess there was correspondence between Henrietta and Josephine. Yes, there was. There had to be. It just makes sense. So, and then they had another edition, Emil Jr. And this is him. This is him in about 1902. He looks like little Lord Fauntleroy. Right? <laughs> Does he not? Yes. <laughs> and, then, and then again. So this, we're not going to go through every little picture because they're not the main players. But, but, you know, here's Henrietta. Uh, it's just a fantastic, clear images. There she is, Henrietta, with her daughter. Her daughter's growing up now. Mm -hmm. What happens? Emilia Sr. commits suicide. You're kidding me. The candy mm -hmm. shop owner? Yes, in 19... The father of, th of two? Yes. Husband? Yes. Kills himself? Yes. A gunshot to the head. Puts bullet into brain, 1912. That is, that is very sad. Mm -hmm. So he left behind another picture here of Emil Lenhardt Jr. about the same time, 1912. I wonder if, uh, well, you know, Josephine and Wyatt Earp must have heard about this. Must have. I, I just wonder if they made it out there to the funeral. I just wonder if that's something they would have done. Mm -hmm. And over here you have a picture that was probably given to her by her sister of Josephine herself. Yes. People take a good look at that face. If you go to Rachel Found It at Etsy.com, you will find side-by-side -side pictures. And this one is a 100% no-brainer match. Would you agree, Rachel? Yes. <laughs> I have no doubts myself. What else do you have? Oh. oh, look at this, people. Josephine sent her sister a picture of her and her latest flame, 
Sheriff Johnny Behan of Arizona. Yes. Oh my God, this is before Wyatt Earp. Yes. This is the man who tried to have him arrested. Yeah. He took the side of the Cowboys, didn't mm -hmm. he? Oh, and then a, a, a second picture. And let me tell you something. That's absolutely Johnny Behan, and that's absolutely Sadie, Josephine, Marcus, whatever name you want to go by. And they were they were lovers, and he left his wife for her. She caught him cheating, supposedly, and that was the end of him. And that was the beginning for Wyatt. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Moving along. There she is again. Very popular in my idea, uh, my my view of what she looks like, and I really believe she is the La Palma girl. I know that a lot of people talk about that as being a uh, French model, but you know what? I studied it. And I think it's really her. So here we go. Uh, this is who's this? What have we got here? John Styles Holiday, mm -hmm. MD. He's the medical doctor. He's yes. where John Henry got his name. Doc Holiday got his name. Mm -hmm. He's the one who performed the cleft palate correction. Yes. Saved his life, as I understand it. Yes. And I know you're trying to debunk the fact that he had a cleft palate. I've heard somebody come out with a book saying it never happened. He didn't have it. Well, people, he had one. He had one. And if you remember his picture of Holiday as a uh, graduate at 17, this is him at about age 15. We all have that picture burned in our heads. That is totally him. And you can see by his lip, yeah, just to the left. There's a scar. He did a good job. It comes back later in life, gets more noticeable. Mm -hmm. And that's his biological father and mother. Yes. And that would be John Henry mm -hmm. and uh, his wife, uh, Parmelia, correct? Correct. Or no, not Parmelia. That would be, hmm. I'm Elizabeth. At Elizabeth. No, it is Parmelia Ellen Ware. Mm -hmm. A lot of names. Now in the back, I'm trying to, at the same time, I'm looking at these three. I know that the back two were cousins to, to Doc Holliday. People, he was in love with one of these two. Yes, he was. I, yeah. I, I just recently learned that myself. I'm, I'll be honest, I don't know everything. But I'll tell you that that particular picture, one of these two, I think it's the one on the left, he was in love with. But if you can help me out with her name, drop me a line over at rachelfounded at com, And I would love to add the information to the book. Anything else? Oh, an early dag daggerial type format. Look at this. Of Henry Burles and Alice Jane McKee Holiday. This is dated to about 1855. Looks just like the one you may have seen of uh, Henry Burles when he was younger. And then over here we have him again. Now we're in 1885. Years later, 30 years later, we got Doc Holliday seated. We have his father, Henry Burrell, standing to the left. And to the far right, we have the Hungarian, Kate Haroni, his gal. Looks just like her. The known pictures are striking match, right down to the, to the, to the nose she had. Um, now these children, I don't know who they are, I'm just assuming that they're relatives of the holidays and I don't know where exactly this is being taken, but um, maybe you can help me out there. Society, we, we, we do appreciate any, any input you may have. This is what? What am I looking at here? Holiday Palooza. 30 members, mm -hmm. dated to 1886. And we identified about six of these people. We can't possibly do them all. But I will zoom in here. You have Doc Holliday's father. You have, wearing your glasses, his mother. Then you have his aunt and uncle. And that would be, can you pull the page on a little bit? That would be Parmelia and the good doctor. And then up above... The man holding a baby is, is what uh, helped us date this, and his name was Robert Alexander Holliday, and and his wife and the baby. So we got this being pinned to 1886. So th though John Henry Holliday, Doc Holliday, the famous outlaw, is not in this picture, a heck of a lot of his relatives are. Um, that's one for experts to pound over. 
uh, too much there for me to look into. And, it's, and then the picture right over here once again shows Dr. Uh, John Stiles Holiday with his wife, Parmelia Elizabeth, and you can see they aged the two here. A little bit older here now. Like I said, whoever put this together really did a fantastic job. It's an unknown collector. Hope one day to find out who it is. Does, does that bring us to an end? Yes. All right, well, thank you for visiting. And um, if you're interested, again, in, in purchasing any of the ERP uh, pictures, whether it be the 12 or the 21 or both, just drop us a line at Etsy.com. You look up Rachel Found It, and you will, you will find all the information you need to go from there. And, of course, if you ever wanted to <laughs> purchase the originals and you happen to be friends of Bill Koch, you might be able to afford something like that, but uh, we're, we're very happy and pleased to bring this to you, uh, your attention today. And we do thank you for watching. Have a great day. See you. Hope to see you there. Hope to see you soon. Bye.